Virgo. Welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person, the tarot reading. All right. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit. Okay. It is a general reading. And Virgo, stick with me till the end. I'm going to pull some letters for initials of who you're dealing with, uh, zodiac signs, and some numbers. All right. So stick stick around. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, let's get into your reading. So Virgo, your overall energy, we have time for a nap. Hmm, are you exhausted, tired, someone running you ragged? Or uh, do you feel like you just needed to take a break from somebody? Let's see what else. Overall energy, Virgo. Also, Virgo, energies can be flip-flopped and reversed, okay? So I could be talking about your person, but it could be your energy. All right. What else for Virgo? Building blocks and time to go. Yeah, you may have had to walk away from somebody. You needed to take a break. You want something solid, you, you, Virgo, you like things grounded, you like things strong, stable, you're very methodical. Um, and I feel like this person may not have been offering you that. So you felt like you needed to walk away. Uh, let's see, what's your person's overall energy? What's going on? Virgo's person. Orphans. So your person's feeling abandoned because you walked away. They're feeling left out in the colds. <sighs> they see you as a treasure. They see your value. They see your worth. They feel like this is guided from a higher power, like a soulmate bond. Virgo, for some of you, the storyline here could be that you have to walk away from somebody else. And this person's feeling abandoned until you come towards them. Oh, let's get into it. <laughs> Current energies. Five of Pentacles. Abandonment. Left out in the cold. Left hanging. All right, let's see. Let's see. Current energies for Virgo's person. What's going on? Current energies. The shadow side. Capricorn energy. The devil. There could have been some toxicity going on here. This person that you were dealing with, with this treasure island, maybe they didn't see your value and your worth and you had to walk away. Maybe they were too materialistic or cared too much about other things that just really aren't important in the grand scheme of life, you know? Um, let's see what else, current energies, temperance, Sagittarius energy, something here is divinely guided. What else, what else, current energies, what's going on here? Your person may need to just have patience here. While, while you're figuring this out, they're broken hearted. They want to heal this. We have three of swords, four of swords, and the knight of cups, Pisces energy. There could have been heated arguments, disputes, competition, one-upping each other, too many people involved. They could have put you in a third party situation. Virgo, and that's why you had to walk away. But now they're feeling it. Now they're feeling it. They want to heal this. They're coming with an apology. Mm, let's see what's blocking this connection. What's blocking this? Virgo, what's blocking this connection? magician there could have been manipulation trickery the emperor aries energy and nine of cups Ooh. this person could have been very controlling they also could have had some kind of overindulging so alcohol drugs shopping working spending treasure island they could have spent all your money. They could have had some kind of addiction. They could have been addicted to controlling situations. I feel like there was some kind of manipulation going on here. Oof. Oof. 
This is heavy. This reading is very heavy. The chariot, Cancerian energy. This person may not have known which direction to go in their life and it caused confusion for you. You felt this wasn't stable, so you decided you needed to walk away. Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. You guys were not on the same page. This person could have been like over emotional or had like emotional outbursts, jealousy, possessiveness, control, or like to drink, <laughs> party, something like that. I don't. Ugh. Queen of Wands, Aries energy, Aries Leo Sag. But they were fun. They were flirty, fun, outgoing, spontaneous, adventurous, but they had no direction in their life. And Virgo, you need that direction. We got double Aries, though, showing up as blockages. So you could be connected to an Aries. They could be connected to an Aries. Or that could just be that with the emperor, the control, the bossy, bossy energy, and then the uh, adventurous, spontaneous nine of pentacles. Somebody may not have been single here. Somebody may not have been single or needed to get single or they were giving you the runaround. And now it's making sense. They could have been in another connection with somebody else and couldn't get single and you decided to walk away from this. It's like a third party situation. Let's see, how does this person truly feel about you? How do they truly feel about you, Virgo? How do they truly feel about you, Virgo? Three of Wands. You need time. I feel like they're waiting for you, though. Queen of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Strong Aries energy coming through. I feel like they're waiting for either you or them to disconnect from a Queen of Wands, an Aries Leo Sag, a fire sign possibly. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, wishy-washy in and out. So they see you waiting to, for them to like not be in and out or wishy-washy. They know you know what you want. They see that about you, that you know what you want. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Eight of Wands, communication. You just want stability. They see you, Virgo, as this Queen of Pentacles. So that's, that's your energy. You're very grounded, stable, sturdy, you know what you want. They also feel like you could be unbothered by this, by walking away. I feel like they want to communicate. What do they want to say? They want to talk about a third party situation. To move things into calmer waters, they, they, want, they want you to take some kind of leap of faith after a tower moment. There's passion, attraction, desire here. They see you, Virgo, as very attractive. They feel chemistry with you. They feel passionate with you. They want to move this into calmer waters. There was some kind of tower moment that happened between the two of you. More Aries energy, by the way. <laughs> but they want, they want to talk about a third party. They want to put this burden down. And move things into calmer waters. 
Let's see, what's the potential outcome? Keep in mind, it's just potential. You both have free will, and I'm not here to tell you what to do. <laughs> All right, the lovers. Gemini energy, making a decision in love. Because there's confusion. Walking away, possibly from this emperor energy. This Aries energy, Gemini energy. Seven of Swords, sneaking off in the middle of the night, sneaky behavior, manipulation, lying, cheating, sneaking, stealing, walking away. What else? Potential outcome. Page of Cups to the King of Pentacles. So this person is trying to make a choice, whether it's you, whether it's them. Somebody's trying to make a decision in love and wants to walk away from this emperor energy, whether that's control, addiction, somebody else, whatever, and put an end to this sneaky behavior. And I feel like they want to come towards you as this king of pentacles. You're the queen of pentacles here. Male or female, it doesn't matter. They want to be that divine counterpart. They want that long-term stability. King and queen of pentacles are like the forever couple. The stable couple. Long-term stability. They do want to give you that. Look, commitment. I feel like whenever or whoever needs to walk away from somebody else, that's when this can actually move into a stable place. What else? What else for the outcome for Virgo? Five of Cups. Sadness, loss, regret, remorse. Over confusion causing a painful ending. This person feels bad. They're feeling it now that you walked away, Virgo. They're feeling it. They are feeling it. Here you are. Here their wish come true. They want to heal this. Uh, again, I'm not here to tell you what to do, but they want to heal this. Hear their wish. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacles for Virgo. Biggest obstacles. Ooh, flowering. So seeing and watching this actually grow into something. Watering it, nurturing it, caring for it, and making it blossom. That's an obstacle here. Patience. Yeah, I feel like, Virgo, with this situation, you were just running out of patience. It's an obstacle here. Things were taking too long and you just felt like it was time to go, letting go and aloneness. So there is an obstacle here of actually letting go and fear of being alone. Or you don't feel whole like without this person. There is something with a higher power here. Something is divinely guided here. Let's see what else do we have for Virgo. outcome yeah you're gonna get the answers you you're looking for results conclusion ending you will soon get a resolution so soon something's gonna happen for you soon and alone abandoned lonely lost the divine is with you your person is feeling very alone right now without you and romance rubble flow savor entice open yourself to romance with this energy here the knight of cups pisces energy they're coming towards you with an apology, some romantic offer, something like that. They want to heal this. All right, let's see. What else? What else do we have? Tour of Virgo. You were the best thing in my life. I wish I had treated you better. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I love you. 
I hid who I really am from you. So many things remind me of you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I left when I saw you with someone. That could have been you. I feel like you're the one that walked away, but it could be reversed. All right, let's see. Initials, first, middle, last name of who you could be dealing with. Virgo. We have E, A, O, L, and D. All right, E, A, O, L, and D. And I'm seeing a P here too. So first, middle, last, okay? Doesn't have to be. All right, let's see if I can get some dates. Anniversary, date that you met, birthdays, anything that is significant, all right? We have three, four, six, six. So there could be something with March, April, June, or the third, fourth, or sixth of any month. Or look up angel numbers 666 or 66 and see if there's a message there for you. All right, and let's see. And also could be three years, four years, or six years, okay? Place it where you see fit. All right, what signs could you be dealing with, Virgo? We have Cancer, Leo, Aries, and Virgo. So you could be dealing with another Virgo, Leo, Aries, and Cancer. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It could just be strong placements in their chart. All right, so take it how it resonates, uh, Virgo. But that is what I have for you this week. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this reading, this video. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Virgo, love and light. Take care.